Hello guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a What's on my iPhone 15 Pro Summer Edition. I like to do one of these every year because I feel like whenever I customize my phone into the new season, it is just something that gets me so happy and excited for that new season. I do know it's only spring, but I just can't wait for summer and I feel like you can never want summer to come too early, if that makes sense. So with that being said, we are going to get right into this video. I just wanted to explain why I haven't posted on YouTube in almost two weeks. I unfortunately lost somebody very close to me and it was very unexpected and a very horrible and tragic situation and I am trying my best to stay in a routine and not really fall out of that routine too much because I know that's what he would want me to do but it has not been easy and I know that it won't be easy for a very long time. But I just wanted to explain that's why I unexpectedly stopped posting and I hope you guys can understand. I don't want to talk about it that much because I will start bawling my eyes out so let's just get right into this video. We are going to start with with my case which is something I always like to do if you don't know I have the iPhone 15 Pro in neutral titanium and I really do like it the only thing I will say is sometimes it overheats so badly and I'm just like why is my phone overheating but I have learned that if I use the Apple phone charger instead of like an Android charger because that does work with this phone now that the overheating isn't as bad and if I let my phone charge when I'm not using it the overheating isn't as bad also so that's kind of what I'm trying to do the charge does hold very well so I will say that that is something that's really good and since I love taking pictures and since I love doing videos and stuff like that the camera on this phone is also amazing this is the case I have this is from Amazon I really like it it has this like really cool design where it's like all squiggles which I love and then there's just blue hearts on it and it says keep loving life and I really like this case I will have it linked down below if anyone wants to twin with me but with that being said let's start screen recording and let's go into my phone so this is my lock screen this is a picture of me and my boyfriend I really like it this is one that we took in Cancun and it just brings back so many memories so I like to have that there then I just have the date and the time in blue and I think it matches my phone case as well which I didn't do purposely but I'm not complaining that they match pretty well then as my next widget I have the weather and then I also have a little fitness widget I do have a lot of lock screens that I will go through really quick just because I always like to change them up and I never really keep the same lock screen for too long just because I like to see different things on my lock screen and I have them all set to a specific setting and different widgets and stuff like that but for now I've been using the one of me and my boyfriend a lot so that is my little lock screen now when I go into my phone this is what the initial home page looks like and I just have my wallpaper as this beige aura I will say that most of my widgets are from Pinterest I will have my Pinterest links down below I love Pinterest I love getting ideas from there and if I'm ever bored I am scrolling on Pinterest so if you want to find any of my widgets they are most likely from Pinterest but this is my wallpaper and I think it matches the theme very well now we're gonna go into my actual phone so the first thing I have is a Pinterest widget again like I said most of these will be from Pinterest because something I really like about the Pinterest widgets is that it is so easy to have them switch all the time and like I said I like when pictures are always changing because it lets me see different memories or different things I want to do in this case and I program all of them to different boards I will say that some of these are not programmed to my individual board Board, but I will try to go through and link the pictures that I have in this video for you guys because I do really like them So my first little widget is from Pinterest and like I said, I'll just show you guys this one For example, what I do is I go to edit widget and it'll come up and for example This one is not my board But I pick the user and then I have it on the board summer was what mattered and then I have the update to update hourly You can also change it to daily as well But personally I like them to change hourly again. That's not my board, but I do really like it and I don't know I kind of just look for things that make me happy and that go with what I want my summer to look like now moving on to my apps the first thing I have is YouTube studio I love YouTube studio it really helps me to see who's commenting on my videos and to be able to respond to them easily rather than going through the YouTube app sometimes I go through the YouTube app but I just like being able to see my analytics so that's what I use YouTube studio for then I have the YouTube app I watch YouTube all the time whether I'm cleaning my apartment and need something to listen to or I just want to watch a video or I need background noise or I need help with something I love watching YouTube next I have Visco I love Visco I like to use Visco as a place to store my memories my Visco is just Samantha Costa one I will have everything linked down below and I kind of just put every little thing that I take on my phone that I think looks aesthetic and that I want to keep forever in a picture world on my Visco because like I said that is just something I like to do to hold my memories rather than storing them all in my camera even though they are still all my camera I just really want to have them forever and I know that if they're in two 
two places it'll make me just feel better so that's why I do that as well next thing I have is Pinterest like I said I'm obsessed with Pinterest I scroll on Pinterest all the time I do put some of my own pictures on here and then I also have boards that I've made so I have like affirmations summertime how I'm going to be my life Easter summer fits coconut girly things I want to do basically just everything that I am very excited for I put it in a board on my Pinterest and it just gets me even more excited so that is something that I really like to do if you're looking for anything that is going to be in this video it will be in my iOS board which is somewhere down here but when I update it it'll go to the top but this is the board and I'll make one for summer and it will be there once I do that next I have photos I say this all the time but I love taking photos of everything and I get comments all the time that's so silly why are you taking a picture of that croissant or that's so silly why are you taking a picture of this and at the end of the day I'm doing what makes me happy but I'm also taking pictures of memories that I want to remember forever and especially with everything that's going on it just reminds me of how precious life is and how anything could really change in one second and I just want to be able to hold on to the good memories as much as I can so here's your sign to take pictures of literally everything if you're someone who does like taking pictures because you will not regret it next thing I have is Gmail I love Gmail I use Gmail especially for work then I have my calendar which I don't really use it all the time but there is sometimes that I use it and then I have my camera because I like taking pictures like I said of everything next I have a little picture of a girl from Pinterest but I used widget smith for this one just because I didn't want this picture to particularly change and then I also have the same thing the pictures from Pinterest but I used widget smith to have the same picture there just because those are pictures that I want to keep there because they are related to my vision board and my goals next I have TikTok in the last video I made like this I was talking about how I was doing so good at posting on TikTok and I really was and then there's just so many things that happened that I stopped posting but I will be getting back into TikTok again shortly so be sure to follow me if you want to my username is just hey it's Sam Costa and I post like lifestyle stuff in there funny things memories stuff like that and I do really like just posting silly little videos on there next I have threads I really use that a lot in the beginning but I don't really use it anymore then I have Instagram I love Instagram again it's a place to keep my memories and stuff like that this is what my Instagram looks like I post reels and just pictures of everyday life and stuff like that if you want to follow me my username is sam.costo at two a's I love doing little polls on Instagram to see how you guys are doing and connect with you guys more and then I also really like having highlights of everything as well so I would recommend following me on there if you want to be a part of my polls or when I ask questions for videos and stuff like that then I have snapchat I don't use snapchat too often I really just send a streaks picture once a day to stay in contact with my friends that I don't really text all the time and I keep snapchat because of the memories that I have saved and then for my doc down here on the bottom I just have the phone app the safari app and my messages app now we're gonna go into the next page so over here I have my reminders widget I say this in all of my videos but I got this idea from Julia K Christ years ago and ever since I saw her do this to do list reminders widget I've been obsessed with it so for right now I just have Trader Joe's on my to-do list I have to go to the post office and I actually never took away Valentine's Day it's literally March 30th when I'm filming this it's nowhere near Valentine's Day but I guess I just never took it off there but I do like to use it and change it when I have exciting things coming up now we're gonna go into my little folders which I love I'm gonna go through these pretty fast because these really don't change that often but the first folder I have is a phone emoji and this is all my editing apps and stuff like that so I have Lightroom I have Widget Smith I have one second every day which is something I use to take a one second video every single day and at the end of the year it'll make it into a one second every day of 365 days and it's just really nice to look back on then I have snap edit which I can use to like edit out things in the background of a photo I've pixar canva and fonto which I use for my thumbnails on YouTube I have photo wonder which I use to like blur things out in the background if I need to and then I have Huji. I love Huji so much basically it's a disposable camera app it looks like this and then you can for example like take a picture and it'll put this really cool like film rainbow over it and I really like it this for example is what it would look like and I just really like it and I don't know it just reminds me of that like disposable camera look but you're taking it on your phone then I have like to know it and like to know it creator I love these two apps this is where I link everything I will have my username linked down below as well I have CapCut, which I use for TikTok, and I honestly don't even use this next app so I'm not even gonna talk about it then I have a bow emoji folder this is all my food apps I don't know why it's a bow I just never changed it so I have uber because I use uber more for uber eats I have Starbucks I have Grubhub I have DoorDash which I use all the time I have Domino's and then I have Jersey Mike's then I have a little envelope art folder this is all of my 
my bank information. So I have Bank of America, PSE&G, because it reminds me to pay my apartment bill electric. I have Wallet, I have Discover, I have PayPal, I have US Bank, which is for my car lease, and then I have Cash App. Then I have a little video emoji folder. So I have Netflix, I have Spotify, I have Hulu, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, Amazon Alexa, and Prime Video. I cannot wait for the summer I turned pretty to come back out, season three, because that's what I use Prime Video for. Then over here, I have a little heart folder. These are the apps that come on the iPhone that I use occasionally, but not too much. So I FaceTime, Find My, I use to have all my friends and family's locations. Then I have Mail, I have the App Store, Weather, Clock, which I use all the time for my alarm. I have Settings, Contacts, and Calculator. So these are just apps that I use occasionally, and I just kind of want them on my phone so they're easy to find. Next, I have a brown heart emoji. This is all of my fitness-related apps. So I have Health, my Apple Watch app, my Fitness app, which goes with the Apple Watch, and then my Orange Theory app. If you don't know, I love Orange Theory, so just having that there is really beneficial for me. Then I have my shopping folder, which is of course the shopping bag emojis because how could it not be? So I have Amazon, which I use way too often. I have Sephora, I have Urban Outfitters, I have Vivacious, which I'm actually wearing Vivacious merch right now. I'm obsessed with it. I have Target, which is another problem. I'm always at Target. I have Garage, Arden, Shop, and then I have Etsy, and I also have this app, which I don't know how to say. I honestly never set it up. I was talking to my coworker once about it. I meant to set it up and then I never did. Next, I have a work folder, which is for my corporate job. I'm not really going to go into that folder, but I have a little bear emoji there just to match my aesthetic. Then down here, I have another widget. This is a Pinterest widget, and I don't know. I just think that's such a cute summery vibe, and it will change again, like I said, every hour. And then I have another Pinterest widget down here, which again reminds me of summer. These two aren't my boards, I don't believe, but they do change hourly. Going to the next page, I have this whole page right here. So first, I have my airplane folder, which is all things travel. So I have United, JetBlue, NJ Transit, which I use to get to the city. I have Park Mobile, which is how we pay for parking around here if it's like metered parking. Then I have Hilton Honors and Public Hotels, which are two hotels that I like to stay at when I'm in the city or Hilton I really stay at anywhere. And then I have Hopper and Expedia, which gives you good prices for flights and like trying to find good hotels and stuff like that. Then I have a cloud emoji folder, which is just the rest of my social media that I don't use often. So I just have Facebook, Facebook Messenger, and Be Real. Then I have this angel emoji folder. This is just games that I sometimes play. So I have a drink water app that I actually saw Julia K. Chris have and I do really like it but I don't use it that often and it basically just reminds you to drink water. And then I have Miko which I used to use for a widget but I don't use it anymore. And then I just have this folder for Apple TV and iTunes and it's just a little smiley face with hearts going around it. Next I have this Pinterest widget. This, I don't even know what board this is actually related to. Oh, so this is my 2024 vision board. So yeah, I don't even know at this point because I have them all linked to different ones. And again, this changes hourly. This Pinterest widget is actually connected to my homepage, so this changes all the time as well. Then I have a Widget Smith widget of me and my boyfriend. I love this picture. It's us in Florida during July and in the summer, and we were just having a really good time, and we were genuinely so happy in this picture, so it just reminds me of really good memories. And then I have this Pinterest widget, again, that changes hourly. Now going on to the next page, I have some more folders. I'm going to go through these really fast because I don't really use these apps. So I have a book folder, which is just my authentic which I use for my boyfriend's school because his phone wasn't working at the time and now we can't get it off my phone. And then I have Google Docs. Then I have this star widget, which is all things for my apartment. So I have Gove Home, which turns on the lights in my apartment. I have, I don't even know how to say that app, but it's for my vacuum that's like remote controlled. And then I have Life360 just for my family and my boyfriend's family. Then I have a camera folder. This is just stuff that I use sometimes, but not all the time. So I have Shutterfly, I have Airbrush, and then I have the Teza app, which I use to make my pictures look a little more vintage. Then I have a bubble emoji folder. This is just fetch, eBay, and coloring. That's really not organized at all, so I do definitely have to organize that. And then I have Zoom, which I really only use to have telehealth appointments with my doctors. Then coming over here, I just have all of these little, I don't even know what they're called, like bubbles with all of my apps that I use that I've showed you guys. And then some other ones as well, but I really don't use them at all, so I should really clean them off my phone. And then the last thing that's on my phone that I'm obsessed with is this page to the left. I love these photos so much. It reminds me perfectly of summer. And again, these change all the time. And sometimes I just look at these and get really inspired for things that are coming up. These are all from Pinterest and they change hourly as well. So that is what my phone looks like for summer. I'm really excited for summer and I'm looking forward to nice weather and just, I don't know, being in that summertime feeling. I'm not gonna lie, this video was really hard for me to film, but I know that I need to stay distracted, 
keep going because that's what he would want me to do and just keep being me and that's what I'm going to do but I don't know this was a very hard video to film especially right now and my mind is like racing everywhere so if I seem a little jittery I'm sorry there's a reason why and I hope you guys can understand but I did want to keep posting and just keep trying to show up for myself family and everyone involved so that is what I'm going to do but I just wanted to make the disclaimer that if I do seem a little jittery and a little unwell that that's why thank you guys so much for sticking with me thank you guys for being here I appreciate you so much I love you and it does not go unnoticed and if you stayed up until this point of the video comment a sun for summer or your favorite summer emoji I'm gonna go because I have to be with family now but I will see you guys really soon in my next video bye